All right, good morning, guys. So three for three on the days I've actually traded this week. Hopefully, we can end it strong today on Friday. Some dumb, dumb news coming out last night about proposed tax taxes coming up here on capital gains. So we'll see what happens with that. Could really change the whole stock market world if those stupid things are put into existence. But we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, though, I will not be trading any days next week. Zero trading for me next week. So I'm going to be missing it. I'm going to be watching volatility on stream, trying to trade on my little YOLO account on my phone. We'll see what happens. Let's trade. All right, watching SKX, see if this thing runs up through 52. It's trying. Okay, watching it. 5250s. All right, I'm in SKX. Got it at Half off. Oh, I got it at 28. Thought I was getting it down at 15. It's okay. See if we can get uh, more down through 52. Otherwise, I might be interested in restarting here. Up through 53. See if we can get down through 52 for another partial. Put an order out to buy 25 at 52.15. Wasn't able to break 52 on that move. Okay, got another 25 there. And I'll put an order out at 51.80. the remaining 25. Jumping again here though, so I will look to add in back to my starting position size with an additional 75 shares. I'll just try and cover those out at 52.30. Okay, so all done here in SKX. Watching mRNA. See if this comes up through 173. All right, I'm going to start mRNA here. Got it at 173.50. See 
you can get back below 173 here. All right, I'm gonna take half right there. Put that half at 172.98. Look to add back in over 174 to my initial position size. If I can add in here 174.25 for another 50 shares to not get it there. All right, gonna take the whole thing off there in MRNA. So, disappointed I didn't get the ad there, but still making some money. Not as much as I probably could or should have, but. All right, I'm gonna jump in a Tesla 735 call here. Got it at four. Willing to add in. Market's starting to make a big move to the upside, thinking Tesla might follow. See if I can get a sell here at 460. I would take the quick $60. See, all right, and filled there on Tesla. So a quick $60 here. The market saw it going up quickly and uh, taking what I get. All right, everybody. So it is 11 a.m. And I think I'm going to call it a day today. Three for three today. Nothing big, nothing huge, but making some money, Tim. Uh, let's break down the trades today, see what we were looking at. SKX coming directly off the scanner this morning. Really good entry on SKX here, 52.55. And I was getting some covers. I was trying to wait for the break of 52, and it just was looking really strong and looking like it was holding on to 52 here. Made a little fake breakout, and then when it came back down, again, I just covered out the rest because I thought that was a sign that it could continue higher here. So, And it'll be wrong on SKX here and only making $30 and wasn't able to get that remaining 25 shares down on this nice downward move here. But, you know, sometimes you get it wrong, and you just got to move on. So that was the case here in SKX. Could have been much better, but... At least made a little bit of a little bit of money on it. Then MRNA popping up again today. Hit this one at 173.50. Got the first cover as it broke 173. Then this one jumped up on me again, so it was kind of doing the same thing that SKX was doing, holding on to this level around here. And so once it came down, after once again breaking through the highs here up through 174, just decided to cover this one out. And on both of these, I think I was looking for getting back into my original position size once I had taken my um, partials off, if it had made enough, enough of a move to the upside to justify it, which I didn't think either of them really got to that point. So I ended up just taking the money there as well on MRNA. That went a little bit more with the $51. And then just saw a little bit of a opportunity here. Actually, I thought it was going to work out much better, but it didn't. But I still got the, the green trade on on Tesla. It was right here about 10.30, the market, the Qs and the Spies both made like a four candle move straight up. Tesla was holding on to the 7.30 range pretty good, holding on to the moving average is pretty good. So I thought it was going to get a nice push up. So just got in there on a Tesla 7.35 call. Actually thought it was going to break through the highs like the market had been. 
and uh, go higher. But uh, once I saw it not really making that move, just decided to be happy to take the the quick 60 there on the $4 to 460 range move there. And that was in just about one minute here on, I believe it was this candle or the candle before. So uh, happy with that one. That one actually worked out pretty well. That's the goal. If I only have one contract here, I'm going to take the money when I have it, especially on a Friday, on Options Friday, when these things expire today, because the value will go down quickly as time goes by. So happy to take the money there in Tesla. That was the biggest winner of the day for 60 bucks. So no winners today above $60, but you add all three winners together and we are just over 140 on the day. So pretty happy with that overall. I'll take it. I'm sad that I can't trade at all next week. So this effect. I think this effectively ends my April, I think. Let me look at the calendar here. Yep, this will officially end my April of trading unless I get home early any of the days next week and get something in uh, in towards the end of the day. If I do that, it'll be posted on Twitter. There won't be a video. Maybe I'll make a video if you guys have anything you have an idea about that you want me to make a video for next week uh, while I'm gone. Please let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. See you later.